This section will concentrate on how to use your optical fiber identifier by AFL, OFIB IPM, to measure accurately. The first activity you should perform on the OFIB IPM is zeroing out the device. This eliminates any variations in measurements caused by changes in atmospheric conditions like heat, moisture, etc. This is accomplished by pulling the trigger and holding it. If the trigger lock is engaged, simply pull the trigger and release it. Now select the zero button located in the lower center of the touchscreen. The screen should flash zeroing for approximately three seconds before returning to the measurement screen. The device is now ready to take measurement. Measurements are taken by opening the plunger and placing a fiber across the sensors. If the plunger is closed and locked, simply pull the plunger and release it to open the plunger head. If the fiber is dirty, it is best to clean the jacket of the fiber with some alcohol first to prevent the sensors from getting dirty. Once the fiber is in place, simply pull the trigger until the positive stop is engaged. The device will activate and the screen will flash that is detecting. If no signal is detected, the display will indicate no signal. If there is outside ambient light that is detected, then it will show detection coming from both directions as a false positive. If a tone is detected, the top result screen will indicate the direction of the detected signal, the frequency of the detected tone, and the relative power of the signal. If the traffic is detected, the lower result screen will indicate the direction of the detected signal and its relative power. Now that you are familiar with the operation of the OFI BIPM, you can perform the following steps to verify there is no traffic on the fiber. Test with the OFI BIPM on at least two different points along the fiber in question. Testing should be performed on a fiber at a distance of 6 to 18 inches from the connection point. Limit the time the fiber is under test. Clamp the OFI BIPM on, read the results, and then quickly release and remove the OFI BIPM. If the light is detected, then the fiber must not be disconnected. An additional verification should be conducted prior to moving forward with the required work activities. Once you're confident there is no light on the fiber in question, you can disconnect the fiber and immediately use the power meter to verify that there is no power on the end of the disconnected fiber. Be sure to replace the dust cap on all fibers and ports that have been disconnected.